Welcome to a week in Rome. taking the train or the subway, I don't really know, to Vatican City. Everybody's gonna show off their outfits. We're all wearing very cute things. Pose, guys. Yes, queens. And I'm wearing this. I wore this actually in Florence, but I've come to the point in the trip where I have to start re-wearing my outfits because I just did not bring enough clothes with me. We got two cappuccinos and then one cafe latte. This is the cafe latte. The only difference between the two, according to my dad, is this one has more milk. On the very first morning of our visit to Rome, we visited the well-known St. Peter's Basilica, which was absolutely beautiful, both on the outside and on the inside. Welcome to the exciting world of One, two, going to this restaurant instead of eating at the market but the food was literally so good and it was so cool because they're famous for the carbonara which literal maniskin ate this restaurant that we're at right now is so cool apparently maniskin ate here before okay so as the appetizer yeah. we got these homemade meatballs with tomato sauce crunchy bread if you come to this restaurant i totally recommend getting these homemade meatballs they are so good we got roasted plant and roasted I'm gonna be entirely honest with you guys. I wasn't really feeling the steak. If you come here, I would definitely recommend either the meatballs or one of the pastas. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> just finished eating and it was pretty good. Those homemade meatballs were so, so good though. So if you ever go to that restaurant, definitely get those as like an appetizer. It was delicious. Right now we are walking to Borghese, Borghese Gallery. It's like an hour long walk. So we're definitely gonna be making a lot of stops along the way. So it's definitely gonna be longer than an hour. Hopefully do a little bit of shopping. Evelyn wants to go to this store called Bershka. As we were walking to the gallery, we kept stopping to take pictures because there were so many amazing photo opportunities. Rome is just such a beautiful city. We also found this really cold water tap, which was really great because we were all really hot. My brother literally took a shower. This is the Borghese Villa. Pretty. It was honestly really similar to the one in Florence, I feel like. Unless you really, really, really like 
art and history, once you see a gallery a couple times, they all start to sort of like merge into the same thing. Also, this one didn't have as much of an explanation of what each thing was. It was just like the name and the year and that's it. Yeah, exactly. Now we're at the cafeteria and our dad's gonna get another coffee. Literally the fourth coffee of today, but you know. Anyways, it's called a Mary Toza. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my god, another cappuccino. Now that we finished in the gallery and eating our food, we're gonna be walking around the gardens, which are like around the villa or the gallery. We're walking past the Ferrari dealership and Jonathan is so excited. starting once again in Vatican City. First off, we're gonna go to Vatican Museum and then we're also gonna go to Sistine Chapel. I'm wearing this really pretty pink dress. I am starting again to rewear my outfits because I just don't have enough clothes. We're gonna have a really good day today, I'm sure. How are you feeling? Good. Usually we just walk around the museums ourselves and like read the little cards and like the descriptions of the art pieces, but today we're doing audio guides because apparently they really recommend that for the Vatican Museum. So basically how the audio guide works, you get this map and it tells you all the rooms in the museum and gives like numbers accompanying it. When you go to each room, you can like type that on your little like audio guide phone basically. This is what it looks like. And then you press play and then you can listen to it. You can also put in earbuds the way that we did. They don't actually give you the earbuds though, so if you want to use earbuds, you gotta bring your own. Not only were there numbers for every room on the map, but there were also numbers in front of every art piece or artifact, which is really nice as you can learn about each piece in particular. You got what I need and you always be turning my sky blue. I actually loved having this audio guide so much, especially considering that we'd already visited so many museums and I feel like if we didn't have the audio guide it would have just all felt the same. Except this definitely created like a new experience and made it a lot more exciting to be at this museum. The sun goes around the stage. Can we if I had to choose, I would say that this gallery was my favorite part of the entire Vatican Museum just because I thought it was so interesting how every single piece was made out of tapestry and they were like gigantic covering all the walls. Like, I just thought it was so cool. this museum and at this point it was already like 3 p.m. so we decided to take a quick little lunch break before continuing with the rest of the museum. This is like the transportation exhibit which Jonathan was really excited to see. most of the museum now and I think we have like three rooms left. It was so cool. We went to the Sistine Chapel and I wish I could have vlogged inside but I said like no photos or videos so unfortunately I don't have anything to show you but we saw this like huge like wall that had like the last judgment on it which is so cool because we literally talked about that in art class so it was so cool to see it in real life. Which car would you like the most? Volkswagen Beetle. I like the teal color. What about you? What was your fave? Yeah me too. What did you think of the exhibition? Was it what you'd hoped for? Uh, not quite. He wanted to see like a Ferrari or a Lambo or something. We'll see that at the dealership. We finished, <laughs> we're done with the museum. What did you think? We've gone through literally every single room. It was really cool, but yeah. it was a bit longer than expected. Epic? Mm -hmm. Our dad thought we'd be here for a full three hours. He thought we'd be here from nine to 12. It is currently past five. What was your favorite room? I really like the Egyptian room and I like the car. Now that we finished with the Vatican Museum, we're gonna be walking over to pizza. I'm really excited because I'm really, really hungry. So, change of plans, we're not getting pizza, we're gonna get Italian McDonald's. I'm so excited. compared to our plastic bag. Much more environmentally friendly. <laughs> we finished eating our dinner at McDonald's. It was so good, obviously. Like, I mean, what do you expect? It's McDonald's in Italy. Now we're walking over to my favorite store, Granny well, Melville, and we're gonna do some shopping. Um, Jonathan has made it his mission in life, so in every single store that we see,
as per usual, I picked up so much stuff. Oh my god. Good morning, everybody. Today we are starting by just walking around. We're going to see a bunch of historical monuments. Right now, we are at the Spanish Steps. Yes. Oh my god, look at this baby fountain. Of course, we gotta walk to the top, and Cinque Terre and Positano definitely prepared us for this because we walked up so many stairs. But Ed says there's either 136 or 138 steps. I'm not entirely sure which one, but I'll put it on the screen as usual. Johnny, say hi. Present yourself as my number one photographer. Right now, we're gonna walk over to the Trevi Fountain. It's only like a 10 minute walk from the Spanish Steps. Are you ready to see more people in one spot than you ever have before? So, we just came to the Trevi Fountain and it is so, so beautiful, but there's obviously so many people. So, definitely follow those tips online and come here early if you don't want there to be this many people. The struggle to get a good picture here is so good because there's so many people. You know I'm almost down, it's like through the night. You can just kick it back, you and you and I. You can wrap me around your face. Honestly, once again, we're gonna throw coins into the fountain to make me feel. Alright, we're all gonna do this together. You guys ready? And now it's among those many, many coins. Something that you like. That's where we are right now. I'm trying to pronounce that. So I was in the line for that year and I wasn't even halfway through and I swear to God, I was standing there for like 20 minutes. So I ended up just taking a couple just like with our phone on the ground. I'll insert the pictures right here. They're very fab. You don't need to wait for the mirror. It's too long of a line. Like it's literally going out of the place. Also because everybody's trying to take pictures in the mirror, the line is going like extremely slowly. So it's not worth it. I don't think so. We then walked into the cutest little Italian jewelry store. I loved so many of the pieces, and if I could buy the entire store, I probably would. I ended up getting this cute pink necklace. The color wasn't really showing up on the camera, but it was an adorable baby. We just walked over to the Pantheon. It's literally right next to the store where I just bought my necklace. Also, literally so happy with my purchase. I've been wanting to get a necklace from here, like our whole trip, so I'm so glad I finally found one. It's so cute. McDonald's. I think we're gonna get a coffee. My dad's gonna get a coffee and we're all gonna drink from it. Tell them what you My name is Steve Two of these. McDonald's is actually top tier in Italy. Like these chocolate croissants were absolutely delicious, especially dipping them into the coffee. Like, oh my goodness, so good. We spent the rest of the day mostly just walking around. We saw a bunch of different views. We looked at a lot of different buildings and took so many nice pictures. I have no clue what the building is called. The bridge is in Bethel the first. Now we're walking along the bridge. Thanks, John. along the river for a little bit we decided that it was probably time to go get some lunch so we stopped by this adorable little pizzeria and ordered two pizzas as my dad was waiting for the pizzas to cook i did a little bit of shopping i got this cute little bag for noah it's her birthday or was her birthday and so i'm gonna put like a little gift inside of it too it's so cute i think and she loves her bag so we got one marina pizza and one marinara. oh sorry <laughs> one marinara pizza and then one margarita after our late lunch, we decided to walk over to Piazza Venezia. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I'm really bad with my Italian pronunciation. But it was just another building that we walked up and we saw that it was pretty easy for me. Papa is literally my twin. We vlog every single place we go to. Right now we're gonna climb the steps of this monument so that we can see the view. There's Jonathan. After the climb, that's the view. Jonathan has now stolen Papa's phone. 
as being the next vlogger. Friends and lovers and enemies and the friends. We need a second honeymoon just to man. All of what we go through and need a... Good morning, everybody. It is literally so early this morning. We woke up at like 6.30 a.m. It is now 7.30, so we left our house like half an hour ago to walk to the Coliseum. Today is Sunday, which basically means that the Coliseum is like free entrance. Yeah, only on the first Sunday of the month, and it's the first Sunday of September, unfortunately. It's fab. We had to come really, really early so that we can be like the first group of people in because we don't have tickets. So for our friends, this Coliseum opens at 9 a.m. It literally opens at 9, so everybody's here like an hour and a half before, and these people probably here at like 7. So we finally got our ticket and now we are walking through another line to get into the Coliseum. I don't really know. Our ticket is for 9.40. It's like 9.25 right now. We finished, we walked around both levels. Evan, what did you think? I thought it was really neat, yes. but I think it's a bit overhyped a little bit. Yeah, unpopular opinion. Um, there wasn't as much to see as like I thought. I mean, I don't really know what I expected if I'm being totally honest, but I just feel like it being like the number one attraction in the literal world, it would, you know, give a little more, but like it was still, it was, really, it was like, still really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I think if you come here, it's like a must see, you know, but it's not like the number one thing that we did on this trip. We just walked over to Palatine Hill and the views, oh my goodness, always so gorgeous. And now we're also gonna walk to the Roman Forum. After having walked through the Colosseum for a couple of hours, we spent some time walking through Palatine Hill and the Roman Forum, which were nearby. I think for a history buff, such sites are so insane and so exciting. And I know I'm like kind of biased because I'm not really into history, but for me, all of these sightseeing spots, as cool as they were, they definitely weren't as interesting to me as some of the other things that we did in Italy. Also, we were like entirely wrong before. The hill that we were on before was not Palatine Hill. In fact, this was Palatine Hill. Some people on the path recommended to come here to see the view of the Colosseum. Hello vlog. Hello vlog. So everybody else has left us because everybody else is tired of climbing, but me and Papa are going to walk up to the museum. What's it called uh, again? It's the, called the Palatine Museum. The Palatine Museum. On the Palatine Hill. In yes. Rome. We didn't actually go into the museum because, you know, everybody else was still waiting for us at the bottom of the hill. We more so climbed up to the top just to see all of the views. It's a few hours later now and we're on our way to these like orange gardens that my mom read about. For the past few hours, we've literally just been at home. I was just reading my book, Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Literally so good. Totally recommend. So anyways, right now we're walking over to the gardens. I changed into this really cute outfit, my black dress is from Brandy Melville. I bought it specifically for this trip and this is the first time I'm wearing it which is kind of sad but it's okay. I also put on this cute little gold necklace that I just bought from the La Bella store like literally like yesterday or two days ago or something like that. Oh, Turns out before we go to the orange gardens we're actually gonna go see the Bath of Caracalla which is where we are right now. points that we're going to tonight, the Baths of Carvala and the Orange Gardens. There's like a 20 minute walk-ish, so that's what we're doing right now. This is where me and Peppa the sunset and this was such a perfect spot to do so. Also side note we've literally seen like five weddings here. There's been so many people coming to take their wedding photos because it's so pretty. <laughs> so we're now on our way to this like little island that's in between like the, the river so it's like the river goes on either side of it and hopefully there's gonna be cute little spots to look from. I'm pretty sure it's just a place that leads to get from. Good morning, everybody. 
everybody today is our last day in Rome it's literally so upsetting but today we're gonna have a really really good day we are going shopping we're here so basically we're going on this like shopping strip it's like a pretty well-known shopping street it's called Via del Corso and it has like a lot of the shops that we want to go to which is perfect we literally spent the entire day shopping and if you know me you know that's my cup of tea I had such a great time Look how cute these little pens are. Oh my gosh, this is a unicorn one. It's pink ink and it's erasable and it's so cute. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna get this cute little unicorn pen. It's pink ink and then this one, it's like a llama and it's blue ink. And then this one, I'm gonna get for Noah. It's an elephant, it's blue ink because we're animals and elephants. So I'm gonna put it in the tote bag for her birthday. That one's getting a few as well for Scott, for John, and then for her slash skin thing, which is me. We're gonna be matching. I literally bought one sweater and Evelyn here bought like four things even though she said she literally wasn't gonna buy it. It's been so much fun. Yeah, but it's so cute, so it's okay. Slay. It's okay, I'm, it's because I never buy anything. She's literally bought something every single time we've gone for any, but I think it's fine. Our dad's favorite store. Postcards make little like collages on our wall, and I already got some in Florence, so I'm trying to find some from Rome. Definitely want this one, and then I want two horizontal ones. I'm just not sure which ones yet, but I think this and that because there's already the font on the this. Okay, so these are the three that I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the collage, and then the flower de Romano, and the Pantheon, and then I got an extra one of the collages for Noah because I'm gonna write her birthday message on it. And then Jonathan, show very cute. I love it. We got a cute little collage. Right now, looking for some socks for Evelyn's boyfriend. So cute, little Coliseum. <laughs> Unfortunately, that concludes our three-week trip to Italy. On the last day, we ended up just traveling back home. We took a flight from Rome to Montreal and then Montreal to Toronto. That's the last video for this Italy series. I'll have the rest of my Italy vlogs linked in a playlist down below. Thank you all so much for watching. It would really mean so much to me if you guys could subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.